BMXers that ride dirt, I mean, we're kind of weird people. Like, we spend countless hours and days just in fields or in the woods just digging. And uh, I think it takes a special person to actually take the time to actually build them. I mean, I wouldn't change it for the world. This is what I've done my whole life and this is all I want to do. Oakley first told me that I could come here to Dirt Lab and build whatever I want. I was blown away. That's every BMXer's dream is to have the opportunity to build whatever you want. But not only that, to have all the equipment to do it. I mean, I had a crew of friends out here that were more than willing to sit out here in the downpours and just pile dirt with me. And we've gone through rainstorms where everything gets flooded and we're just out here in the mud stacking sandbags so nothing moves to scorching hot days. We've gone through so many different things here just to get it to where it is now. It was a great learning process because when you build trails, you pile dirt and if it doesn't work, you fix it immediately. We didn't do that here. We just started piling everything and it got to the point to where the piles were huge and I was really scared thinking I made them too big. We rode them and actually made them too small, which is amazing because they only get to get bigger now. And it's all just fine tuning, it's trial and error. It's how every set of trails goes. You never build a jump and it's perfect first go. A project like this will never be done. It's only perfect until you get too comfortable with it, then you want to change it. We're either going to build more jumps or build jumps taller and steeper and it's never going to stop progressing.